வெல்கம் டு இ பாட்சாலா பிஜி கோர்சஸ் ஃபார் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் இன் வெப் டெக்னாலஜி பேப்பர் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் த வெப் சர்வீசஸ் பார்ட் டூ இன் த லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் வி ஹாவ் சீன் அபவுட் த பேசிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் வெப் சர்வீசஸ் வி ஹாவ் சீன் வாட் இஸ் அ வெப் சர்வீஸ் வாட் ஆர் காம்பனன்ஸ் ஆஃப் வெப் சர்வீஸ் வாட் ஆர் த திங்ஸ் விச் ஆர் ரிக்வயர்ட் டு இம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் அ வெப் சர்வீஸ் தென் வாட் ஆர் தி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆர்கிடெக்சர்ஸ் இன் வெப் சர்வீஸ் and what are the applications of web services all of these things we have seen in the last module in this let us see how to create a web service and how to deploy a web service using a netbeans environment so the learning objectives of this session is to learn about the creation of a new web service and um, to learn about the conception of these web services once the web service has been created how it can be consumed from various environments in different modes so these are the things we are going to study in the session first let us try to create a web service so the creation of a web service in java using netbeans ide has been explained below so the step by step instruction to create and deploy a web service in java using netbeans ide and glassfish 4.0 has been given in this presentation you all know that what is a netbeans netbeans ide is a freeware in which you can download and install it in your machine so using netbeans environment we are going to create this web service and the server it the netbeans can support many kinds of web servers tomcat is of course the frequently used web server but here we are going to use glassfish 4.0 version of the web server for this particular implementation so the prerequisite to create a web service is going to be netbeans 8.0 version where the version can be downloaded from http slash netbeans.org downloads link the link has been given for your reference from there you can download the netbeans so once the netbeans ide has been completely downloaded and installed in your machine you just open the ide and in that ide you just try to click on the new project and choose java web or web application so let us see how to create a new project with a web application so you can see here in the left hand side the netbeans ide has been installed in that i am going to create a new project so you can click on the file from the file you can select new project once new project has been selected you can see on the right side that many categories are available in that category java web has to be selected again in the java web the web application project has to be selected on the right hand side so some sort of project name is required here we are going to do a calculation web service using the default settings so we are going to we are going to give the project name subsequently as calculation ws you can see that web application has been chosen from it and using the default settings we can uh, click on finish here in the first screen we have to click next once next has been created you can see the server has to be chosen so once the project has been created the server has to be chosen the server here we have chosen as glassfish server 4 and the version is going to be java double e 7 and in the previous slide itself you can see that the project name has to be given so you can give the project name as calculation ws here it has been displayed till web application so once it asks the name of the project you give the name of the project as calculation ws where ws stands for web service we are just naming the project as it is and you can click on finish so once that has been happened it ask you to uh, choose the server so in that server you can choose glassfish server 4 we have chosen a project under the project the glassfish server has been chosen the project has been named as calculation ws now it is ready under this project we have to create a new web service now you can go to the project tree structure on the left side of the window if you go to the project uh, there is an icon which is displaying which is which has been displayed on the left hand side as calculation ws which is our project name under that project name you just choose if you right click over that you will get a menu called as new 
So, under new again if you take a span of it you can choose web service. So, a new web service has to be chosen from this under this package or under this project calculation WSM. Now, if you have chosen again you have to give a name to your web service. First the name has been given for the project that is calculation WS. Now, the web service name has to be given. Web service name has been given as CAL WS. So, the specify web service name is CAL WS and package name is calculation WS and click on finish. Now, this uh, web service creation has been finished. The next step is to add a method over it. Now, so once you uh, open this cal ws file, once you open this cal ws file in the editor, you will get the skeleton code. So, inside the skeleton code, you can enter the code whatever you want to have. So, you can go through the skeleton of the code, add web method, operation name will be within codes it will be nothing. So, now here we are going to give a name as add, then public string add which is going to be the method name at web param indicates that we are going to add some parameters over it. Then name is equal to value 1 which says that the first parameter name is value 1 that is the data type is going to be string and the second web parameter name is value 2 in which the data type is going to be string value 2. So, the calculation which is behind for this add operation is going to be float value is equal to that is the exact value of value 1 that is the floating point value of value 1 has been taken and the floating point value of value 2 has been taken both of them has been added and it is stored in the resultant value. So, ret returning this value now the web service has been created for add. So, with the project name with the web service name we are going to add a method. So, default by default it is going to some, some hello, some of them would have hello world function in the code. So, that can be replaced by the add method. Okay. Now, our web service has been created. Now, we are trying to deploy our web service. So, the step 3 is going to be deploy and test the web service. Again you go and take the project where the project consists of calculation WS in which you can see on the left hand side of the screen, right click on the project. So, if you right click on the project you may be having many things, run, clean, build, verify all of these things. There you just choose deploy, once you choose de deploy this is used to deploy all the web services which has been created in the current project. So, this web services will be deployed in the glass fish server which is by default available in the NetBeans in which you are going to deploy all of these web services there. If success you will see in the running screen that web services has been successfully deployed. Okay. Now, to test the web service, once the web service has been deployed, the next step is to test the web service whether the test test web service has been working on properly or not. So, you choose the web service, you can see that again there is a project name of calculation WS, you can go through the entire tree structure, if you go through the entire tree structure there is an icon called as Cal WS that is what your web service name over that cal ws if you right click over it you can see the options which are displayed there you have to choose test web service ok. So, before testing the web service ok now let me give you before testing the web service itself you can right click on the project and select clean and build in which you have seen there first you have to that is you have to deploy you can clean and build or you can clean and build then deploy the, after deploying the web service again you can clean and build ok. So, again uh, we can test the web service. So, during the clean and building option what happens is a var file will be automatically generated and it is placed under the dist subdirectory. So, after cleaning and building again you go to the project name take cal ws test the web service. Once the test web service has been clicked, a tester screen will be displayed like this. You can see the tester screen. So, Cal WS web service tester. This form will allow you to test your web service implementation. In bracket you can see that WSDL file. 
WSDL file means the WSDL file which is corresponding to your uh, calculator web service is available with the service description language. If you click it, you can see the whole XML file with the description of that particular web service. That also you can go through. Apart from that, it shows that what is the add method you have given. See, uh, add method here it has been given for int. So, 2 and 3. See the example what I have shown to you for sample is going to be a float value, but the add method in which the tester has been programmed is for the integer. So, add of 2 comma 3 has been given if you deploy to the glassfish server properly means you can be able to type two, uh, these two numbers in the tester page. So, after entering this if you press the add method it will give you the results like this. So, what is the type that is in because I told you that with respect to this WS web service tester it has been implemented as int do not get confused. I told you a sample with respect to float, but here this has been implemented in the flavor of integer. So, that is why it is showing the type as int. So, 2 and 3 the value of sum of the two numbers 5 can be displayed to it. This is the deployment of a web service. So, this is the deployment of the web service in the server side in which I have showed you a sample web service how to create it and how to uh, deploy it. First, it has to be created along with the package then some method has to be added, then it has to be deployed, then clean and build has to be done, then testing the web service needs to be done. In the tester you can see all of these details, once you give the values you can get the results. Okay. Now, let us look through the second type which is called as consuming the web service. Up to this what we have seen is about the creation of the web service. Now, after creating the web service some sort of client application needs to be developed in order to consume this web service. So, what sort of client applications can be developed? First, we can create a Java class. Through the Java class we can make use of this web service. The second option is we can create a servlet. Servlet is nothing but a web application. Through this we can consume the web service. The third one can be a JSP page. Through this also again JSP page is also a web application. Through this also we can consume the web service. So, the first option let us look into the first option using a Java file in which we can create a that is in which we can consume a web service. If we want to create a new Java class which can act as a user interface or which can act as a presentation and which can consume the web service, you go to the file option. So, again in file option you press new project. From the new project you have to select Java application from the Java category. Earlier we have chosen the web application. So, Java application from the Java category you, you can remember very well there we have chosen the web application. Here we are going to select Java application from the Java category. Again uh, uh, you can name the project that is the client project has also to be named. We can name the client project as calculator WS client application. So, you can leave all other default settings as it is by accepting it and click finish. Now, the project has been created. Once the client application node has been created which is called as calculator WS underscore client application, again right click over it and choose new Again in new you can create a web service client. Up to this what we have seen in the creation is going to be a web service server, server side. Here we are going to consume the service so that is what we are going to create a client application here. So, choose new web service client. So, the new web service client wizard gets opened. Once it gets opened you can select the project. So, select the project always you have to select the project as the WSDL source. So, again there will be a browse option you click the browse option to and take the calculator WS web service in the calculator WS application project. So, client application project what you have created here is called as calculator WS client application. For that client application now you are going to choose an apt web service, the web service uh, either. So, when we have selected the web service we can click ok. Now, you can see 
the calculator WS is application is going to be the Java client application in which we have created for that Java client application we are going to make use of the web service called as calculator web service. So, calculator under calculator WS application the web service the corresponding web service has to be chosen and we have to click the OK. So, once it is clicked you can see that the project name gets involved there. So, which project it is coming under the calculator WS project with the proper WSDEL then again the project name client project name has been listed as calculator WS client application do not select any package name leave this field as empty leave the other settings as default and you click finish ok. So, once this has been finished you can see that you can see the whole tree hierarchy that is the Java class in a Java SE application. You can see that calculator WS client application is uh, coming in the very first that is uh, very first line of the tree hierarchy. Under that many things are displayed you have to choose web service references. So, once you go through the web service references you will be able to link with the calculator web service. Under calculator web service we, we may be able to get the method add operation what we have created in the web service. So, this project window displays the new web service client with a node for the add method what you have created earlier. So, please be clear. So, earlier we are going to give a project name under that some web service name has been created. Let us take either cal ws or calculator ws as its name of the web service. Once that web service has been created under that we have created a method called add. So, all of these things has been linked to this client application through this web service references. So, you can see that. Now, you can open the editor of the Java SE application that is the Java SE application what we have created here is calculator WS underscore client application. So, that is what going to be the public class which is the main class. Under that class we will be having public static void main of string arguments which is the main method. So, now on the left side you will be having calculator WS web service with the method called as add. In the right side you are going to have the client application. So, if you want to invoke the add web service in this particular Java client application means you can see that that add method which is appearing on the left hand side of the screen can be clicked and dragged and dropped in the place which has been given in the static void main. So, that is what shown in the figure it has been dropped from the left hand side to this um, place. So, double click your main class so that it opens on the source editor drag the add node and add it to the add it below the main method ok. So, once it has been dragged once it has been dragged you can see that this kind of code has been added within public static void main of string arguments. You please go through this carefully. Public static void main is there add method on the left hand side has been dragged since it is a web service and which we want to invoke this web service in the Java application. Once we drag the add method and put it under static void main this code has been generated automatically inside the public static void main that is you can go through it is an add method org.me.calculator.calculatorws. So, I told you already. So, calculator ws service service is equal to new org.me.calculator in which a new service has been created. What is the port number of the service that has been configured in the second line? Then return port dot add of using that port add method should be need to be added with two integer values i comma j. Okay, so this is the code which is available with the add method which is showed on the left hand side. Now that has been dragged and dropped in this particular place. Okay, now after dropping it, 
some again this add method has to be invoked. So, in static void main some comment line has been given to do code application logic here. So, any kind of application logic user presentation layer whatever user interfaces you want to include that can be included in that particular place. Even the application logic which has been included in the particular place can call this add operation. So, you can see that again in public static void main simply you can configure like this in the place of to do code application logic int i equal to 3 int j equal to 4 int result is equal to add of i comma j system dot out dot print ln whenever when it goes to add of i comma j this add of i comma j goes and calls this particular add of i int of int i comma in j again here this has been created as a service again the service is uh, configured with a particular port number this port number goes and calls the add of i comma j where this add of i comma j has been created in the earlier web service what we have done in the server side so this dot add of i comma j goes and refers here so after adding it can give you the results so this is what the result consuming the web service has been done result is equal to 7 build is successful total time is 1 second. So, this is what the uh, conception of the web service through a Java application. Uh, let me give you one more application where a JSP page can be created in a web application and through the JSP page we can invoke this web service. So, again in the NetBeans IDE environment you choose the file under the file you take new project here in the earlier client application we have selected web application from the java web category but here we can name it as the project calculator ws jsp client as the project because you know very well from the file we can choose new project from the new project web application can be created under the web application calculator ws jsp client can be done. So, uh, click next and click finish so that you can create a project. Once the project node has been created the index.html file has to be deleted otherwise from the JSP application always it is intended to go and meet the index it, it goes or traverses to the index rather than the JSP which traverses to this web service. So, that is why we are doing this then right click on the web page node and choose new JSP you can see you can remember there we have created a new Java application here we are going to create new JSP in the pop up menu. So, uh, if JSP is not available you can choose new other or any other web category which is at par with the JSP. So, type index for the name of the JSP file in the new file wizard you click finish again you can see that our client application is calculator ws jsp client node there you can choose new web service client. Select the project as the visual source under it click browse, browse to the calculator ws web service in the calculator ws application project once we have selected the web service we can click ok ok. So, you can see the calculator ws application is there again in the calculator ws application calculator ws web service is available. So, this is what the client this is the earlier thing what we have discussed. So, this is our web services this is about the creation of our web services our web service uh, name is called as calculator ws. So, now we can speak about the web service client where the web service client what we have created is calculator ws jsp client again you can go and parse the web service references if you go through the web service references the calculator ws web service is available here you you can see the add method is available here so this is what the same thing we did with java also you can remember we have taken our java page there you can see the application with the web service is available. So, here in this in the ws client application again we went for add operation in the web service references. The web service in the JSP client again ws port is available and that add method is available 
again in the add web service references node you can expand the node that represents web service add operation is available add operation we can invoke from the client and you can drag the add operation there we have seen that we can drag the add operation and we have added it to the java editor here we can drag the add operation and drop it below the h1 tags of the jsp page now the code for invoking the service operation is now generated in the index.jsp so this is what uh, the code which has been given for uh, jsp page in which the drag of add operation will add like this a new service will be created a new port will be created the result the same sort of code what we have seen earlier in the java client has been added here also so int j is equal to 0 int result is equal to port dot add of i comma j and the result is available so if we want to have some exception handling we can catch it also so if you change the value for i and j from 0 here to some other value it can 3 and 4 means it will give you the result as 7. So, this is what conception of the web services from a JSP client ok. So, summary. So, here we have learned about the creation of web services by creating an server side web service and we have learned about the deployment of that web service, testing of that web service and we have learned about the conception of those web services using a JSP page and using a Java page. It is also available or it is also possible to consume a web service using a servlet application also. Thank you.